what we present now is data on the long term up to 12 months. And um, what we see in the short term period is that we found significant improvement after TPS after the first cycle of six treatment sessions over two weeks. And then we booster every month with one stimulation and we assess the patients after three months and uh, six months and 12 months. And what we have available up to now is a good group data up to three months, which still shows a significant improvement in uh, the patients. It's not controlled data with a control group. This is just statistical analysis in this treatment group. And what we see in the long run with the smaller amount of patients that are available yet that we don't see an increase of the symptoms. So we don't see a, a, an improvement, a statistical significant, but we see a stable situation, which could show that we somehow modulate um, the cause of the disease, but it has to be interpreted with care at this time point because the data is not complete for the whole group already. The first thing is that we need the data of the randomized study, which has been already um, closed from Vienna, which will show the effect compared with the placebo control group. We don't have that data yet, and that's very important. Um, and there are lots of questions open. I mean, we want to want to have a look cl more closer on side effects. If we collect data over several centers, Side effects look quite good at the moment, but um, we still don't know which are the best patients to select. We present some, some information on that um, in terms of biomarker analysis. It, it looks like in our data that um, not only patients with a typical biomarker constellation A plus T plus N plus for Alzheimer's um, do profit, we also have some patients who are uh, biomarker, biomarker negative for some of these biomarkers. They also showed improvement. So the question would be whether all, all, uh, all kinds of dementia patients would, would be an indication. That would be an open question. Last but not least, the question would be for safety, um, whether it's okay to have more than minor vascular lesions in the brain. Um, we, we sorted out the patients with a major vascular encephalopathy. And we also sorted out patients who had more than aspirin in their medications. So that's an open question, which patient's cohort can be chosen uh, for safety reasons. So in comparison for, to TMS, for example, or to uh, gamma tux, we don't have any systematic comparison. And we also have to see on, say honestly that for TMS, there's also one trial positive, placebo controlled. Uh, I think that was TMS over the precunius. Uh, so at this time point, we have to say that there's more control data on the on the market for other stimulation techniques, which makes it hard to argue why to do TPS at the moment. So we inform the patient about several uh, techniques that are available and discuss that openly with the patient.